Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer just arrived. Uh, it's a 2014 Platinum 5-horse bumper pull. So those of you that like to pull behind your buses or just like to have your truck bed for other stuff or whatnot, this is a nice trailer to get into. Um, hard to come by, especially a used one. But we just got it in, we still got to send it to our shop for any kind of maintenance or repairs that might need done on it. So, but I did want to show you guys how we did just get this in. Right up here, we've got an electric jack. So that makes it a heck of a lot easier than sitting here cranking. So electric jack on it. We've got it plugged into our battery box right now, just so we can, you know, see the exterior lights on it and stuff. On the front tack, we've got the tack door the window that you can open up to get airflow going through and you know just air it out and get that mustiness out of there and then you've got the the brush box down below as well so be able to keep your i always keep my easy to access stuff stuff that i use all the time in there both picks fly sprays brushes stuff like that and then we do have a step going up into the tack room so that's always really nice to have um, it's going to make it a heck of a lot easier than trying to get up over this all the time you've got that step where you're able to step up and in but there in the tack room, we've got a battery box. So that's gonna run your electric jack, your spare tire, and then your four tier saddle post. And that does come out if you want to. Um, you can remove that depending on how you plan to use the trailer. And then over there on the partition wall, we've got our bridle hooks with the carpet down below. So carpet down below is going to help prevent any kind of swishing and swaying as you're going down the road and, you know, help keep your bridles in good shape and the trailer in good shape. So right here on the hip side of the trailer, we've got drop downs on both head and hip side. So get you that extra airflow going through, make sure that air is getting over those horses backs and being able to keep them cool and keep them happy going down the road. And then this one does have an escape door too. So this pops up. Because this trailer does have mangers, the escape door is on the hip side. So the escape door opens up, you're able to access that first stall. And then you can kind of see in there too, it does have the stud stall, stud divider. So that way, if you wanted to use that for more of like a storage stall, you definitely could. And then down below, we've got two 7,000 pound axles. So those are Alcoa um, wheels as well. So those are really nice, you know, your top of the line aluminum wheel, and then your nice tires on there as well. And I don't know if you could kind of see from the exterior of the trailer up top, we do have a hay rack and it, Looks like they put, um, previous owner put something up there to carry some panels or something. Uh, so that goes all the way up and you're able to have extra storage and be able to put some extra stuff up there and make it easier for you. So here on the rear, we've got our 50-50 door openings with the ramp. So a ramp that comes down, really nice if you got show horses or horses that don't like to step up or you just like to have a ramp, it's on here already. And then we've got our tack room, additional tack room. So you've got two on here, get you extra tack space, get all your stuff that you need. And then this does pop out and swings over. So that way you can layer and be able to get your blankets on there easier. If you've got one in the middle you're trying to grab, you can, you know, make it much easier to push the other ones out of the way, pull it out, whatnot, just being able to get it over and out of the way. Then you got another brush box down below. And then in here, we've got some more saddle tiers. It looks like we've got a, probably about a 48 gallon water tank in the corner there. So I always like taking water with, even if I'm not going too far, you never know what might happen. Just having that extra little safety and precaution with you. Just, I don't know, in my opinion, I'd rather have it with me than not. And then this folds over right there. And that's how that's stored when you're driving. And you do have some additional bridle hooks up on that wall too. So that is a fixed solid tack. 
So there's no removing this or anything. It's solid, so horse's gotta go on this side only. So coming in here to the stall area, open one of these real quick. So like I said, we just got this one in, so we still gotta get it through our shop. I noticed there's some tape right here because you know, horses can be and they're gnawing on stuff. So we'll take a look at that and take a look at everything on the trailer. But you do have the pads on each side of the dividers. So pads are gonna be nice for folks with you, the lighter colored horses, your paints, your grays, um, palominos. When they get to rubbing against this aluminum, just from driving down the road and just the vibration of the road and everything, they start to get those rub marks on their hips and then you get to a show and they've got rub marks on them and you want them to look pretty. So having the pads helps prevent some of that and then it's gonna help with the comfort of the horse too. As as you're braking and accelerating, they're kind of leaning back and forth. So being able to lean on those helps out too. So then these go all the way up. You got the mangers in there and then you do have roof vents above each stall as well. So those roof vents, you push them forward or you can push them backward. You know, you push them forward, they're gonna help draw that air in, suck it in and draw it back down. And then if you've got a couple windows in the back open or you open the last couple going backwards, they're gonna help suck that air back out and just keep that overall airflow over top of the horse's heads and backs and hopefully keep them cool enough where they're comfortable riding down the road. So then we've got a couple LED lights. So loading and unloading lights is a big one for me when it's dark outside and you're, you've got your flashlight and your horse is scared of the shadows it's seeing and you're trying to get it loaded. It just, you know, having, having the lights helps out big time. And then I don't know if you saw this, but this is a bumper pad, just in case you got one that wants to rear up and go backwards. Instead of hit, hitting itself on the frame of the trailer, it's at least gonna soften that blow a little bit and hit that pad. So you also have another load light up on the top there. And then over here on the hip side of the trailer, we've got our ladder that goes up the side so you can get to that hay rack and access that area up top. But then we also have our drop downs on all five stalls and then the mangers down below. So these drop downs right here, they do pop into place and that way you're not going to be sitting there, you know, flapping against the trailer as you're driving down the road. They're going to be popped into place. And then these, let's see here. Um, this one, okay, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> this one comes down as well. And that way you're able to offer more feed, offer water, check on your horses. Don't have to go through the back of the trailer and risk something happening. Somebody getting out on the side of the highway. It's the last thing you want to do. So being able to just pop that down right there and, you know, access that manger up top or the feed bunk uh, it just makes it a lot easier and then you do have the bus window as well so if you didn't want the full airflow of the drop down you can open this up get some airflow get some ventilation for them and just make it a easier ride for your horses and then down below there you will see the manger so i love the mangers because you get so much extra storage space underneath the trailers all your extra bridles extra halters throw some bags of feed down there, your shavings. I mean, there's so many possibilities. Just having that extra space that it's nice. It's really nice to have, definitely. And then you'll see up top another light, LED light. So this trailer, we're sitting at eight feet wide, sitting at seven feet tall to the roof bow, and then 21 feet on the floor. Um, we still we'll get this one over to the weigh station, get it get an empty weight on it, and see what it's sitting at empty weight wise. Um, like I said, we still got to send it through our shop. So what that entails, anything used that we get in, unless we state otherwise, we're gonna send it through our shop for um, just maintenance and repairs. Anything that we find needs to be done, uh, we call it a PDI, so post delivery inspection. They go through and just check everything. So they pull the wheels off. They're gonna check the brakes and the bearings. They'll replace and repack if needed. Uh, if the wheels are, or the tires are over five years, worn or non-matching, we'll go through and replace all tires. And then anything used, we'll go ahead and put a wheel alignment on, make sure it's hauling straight. We want you to be wearing the tires how they should be and that it's tracking behind your tow vehicle correctly. Um, we go through all your lights, make sure all the lights are working, all your latches, um, you know, your door latches, window latches. I mean, 
we go through them and make sure that when you purchase a used one, you're ready to hit the road, throw some horses in it, hit the road, and go do your thing. So um, this trailer, it is a 2014 Platinum five horse bumper pull. And then stock number we've got on it, it's gonna be 5U220502, and that's 5U220502. So like I said, 2014 Platinum, five horse bumper pull. If you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers that you see on our website, or you're looking at getting one built, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone, and that's 970-218-5996. Uh, my desk phone, 303-684-3451, or shoot me an email at morgan, and that's M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L, at transwest.com. Uh, click the link below. You'll go to our webpage to see this one and where you can also browse our new and used inventory. And I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business. And I hope you have a great day.